Hey, how's it going? We are in Luke chapter 11, 1 through 13 today, and this is Luke's version of the Lord's Prayer. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place when he finished, I'm sorry, one day, one day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us, and lead us not into temptation. Then he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and he goes to him at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, because a friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. Then the one inside answers, Don't bother me. The door is already locked, and my children are with me in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, though he will not get up and give him the bread because he is his friend, yet because of the man's boldness he will get up and give him as much as he needs. So I say to you, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks the door will be opened. Which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So we got a pretty uh, interesting Lord's Prayer here. Now, this is super short in the 1973 NIV, which is this. Um, the Lord's Prayer, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we also forgive everyone who sins against us, and lead us not into temptation. There's a whole bunch of little footnotes that have a lot of the extra uh, you know, words of the Lord's Prayer that we're familiar with in there. So... Um, not exactly sure what the original manuscript had to say, if it was actually this short or not, but it's a very, very short version of the Lord's Prayer here in Luke chapter 11. And then Jesus continues to teach on prayer. Um, and the first thing basically that he says is keep after it. You know, suppose you got a friend comes to you at midnight and, you know, give me some bread it's like, out of you, the boldness of the person they'll receive. Uh, and that is basically what he's saying is, is when you go to God in prayer, be bold. Ask, ask, you know, like, ask, seek, knock, go after it, you know, be bold with it. Expect some results. Um, and that, that, I think, is a really interesting thing. You know, in other places... Jesus says, you know, don't keep babbling like pagans because they think they'll be heard because there are many words. So we want to, you know, try to figure out, okay, what are we, what are we looking at here? We don't, we don't earn a healing by praying something a thousand times, but at the same time, we want to be bold and expect results. So we want to figure out exactly where that belongs. So we want to pray bold prayers. We want to go ahead and, and ask and seek and knock and go after it. And then the last part there is just talking about the, the goodness of God. You know, which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? You know, <laughs> if you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? So that's interesting. You know, God is good, and He will give you the Holy Spirit. So... Uh, it's not chocolate pudding, it's not a Lamborghini, it's the Holy Spirit. So we want to go and ask uh, and receive the Holy Spirit. So I guess we should pray for that since we always pray in our devotions. So, you know, in our relationship with God, our walk with the Lord, we don't want it to be just like knowledge, you know, like things you've learned, not just uh, adjusting your behavior but also being filled with the Holy Spirit so that our hearts can be changed. So let's pray along those lines. Heavenly Father, your word here 
uh, encourages us to boldly go before you and pray. And so, Father, uh, we ask you, we ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit. We don't want to just have ideas. We don't want to just know that there's certain behaviors we need to get better at or or let go of. But Lord, we want to uh, be filled with your Spirit. We want to know your heart as your Spirit fills us and pushes out darkness and junk in our hearts. But Lord, we want to be filled with your Spirit. And so that's what we ask of you as your Word says. And we trust that you are good and you will fill us with your Spirit. So we praise you for it. In Jesus' name, amen.